Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met the President of UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, in Abu Dhabi on the occasion of His Majesty's current visit to the UAE. The two leaders reviewed aspects of the deep-rooted, solid and fraternal Bahraini-Emirati relations, as well as the various fields of cooperation, coordination and joint action for the growth and the prosperity of the two countries and the brotherly peoples. His Majesty the King and the UAE President hailed the long-standing bilateral relations and the advanced level of cooperation across various fields. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the UAE President for hosting the fraternal consultative meeting recently between leaders of the GCC and the Jordanian and Egyptian counterparts. His Majesty the King commended the effective pivotal role played by the UAE under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed at the regional and global levels, praising its efforts in championing Arab causes and supporting the joint GCC and Arab action to face various challenges, as well as its keenness to strengthen the pillars of security, stability and peace across the region. The two leaders also discussed the latest GCC, Arab, regional and global developments. They also exchanged views on issues of mutual concern. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned to Bahrain after participating in the fraternal consultative meeting hosted by UAE President His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan in Abu Dhabi with a number of leaders of GCC countries, Jordan and Egypt where they discussed the close historic relations, joint cooperation and coordination, as well as regional and international developments. His Majesty the King also met the UAE President and reviewed the deep-rooted and distinguished historical fraternal relations and ways of supporting and enhancing them in all fields that serve the interests of the two countries and achieve the aspirations of the two brotherly people. The Minister of Health, Dr. Jalila Hassan, received the Regional Director of the International Organization for Migration for North Africa and the Middle East, Othman Balbisi. During the meeting, she affirmed Bahrain's commitment towards respecting and protecting human rights, highlighting the continuous efforts to provide comprehensive health coverage for all. They reviewed a number of topics of joint interest and discussed areas of cooperation between the two sides and the exchange of expertise and experience. The Minister gave a briefing on the Kingdom's health service and the efforts made to provide high quality services. Electricity and Water Affairs Minister Yas bin Ibrahim Hamadan visited the exhibition held on the sidelines of Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week. The Minister was briefed on the latest technologies presented by international companies specialised in renewable energy and sustainability fields the major development projects in the platforms of relevant government agencies, including the Energy and Infrastructure Ministry, the Climate Change and Environment Ministry, the MOCC, and the GCC Interconnection Authority. The exhibition attracts nearly 300 companies that participate in conferences, seminars or sessions that are held as part of the Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs at Yasser Hamidan visited Mazdar in Abu Dhabi on the sidelines of Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week 2023. The Minister viewed the city's main components, stressing that Mazdar is one of UAE's important achievements and affirms its leadership in the areas of sustainability in relation to energy and its resources and is considered one of the most sustainable urban projects in the world, which necessitates the exchange of experiences. The Minister said that the Ministry claims to bolster cooperation with the Mazdar company, especially with regard to solutions and technologies for integrating renewable energy and linking to the national grid, including central cooling solutions. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and in the presence of the Minister of Education and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of UOB, Dr Mohammed bin Mubarak Juma, UOB held the graduation ceremony of the 24th batch of university students. 
The minister delivered a speech in which he praised the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the educational march. He held the patronage of His Royal Highness, which witnessed the graduation of more than 11,000 students from the National University. The minister noted the ongoing developments in UOB, which achieves excellence through the keenness on creating new academic programmes, keeping abreast of labour market requirements and national priorities by benefiting from international experiences in the field. The Minister congratulated the graduates, wishing them success in their future and appreciating the efforts of UOB's administrative and academic staff. For her part, the President of UOB, Jawaha Amadaka, affirmed that the support the University receives from His Majesty the King and the Directors of His Royal Highness enabled the University to develop its capabilities, accommodate the graduates and qualify them according to the highest standards to contribute in a comprehensive development process. The Minister of Education and Chairman of the Higher Education Council Board of Trustees, Dr Mohammed bin Mubarak Juma, addressed the 2023 Diplomatic Forum. Dr Juma expressed thanks and gratitude to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif Al Ziani, and all the organisers of the 2023 Diplomatic Forum, which provides an opportunity to exchange expertise and viewpoints. He congratulated Dr Al Ziani and the Foreign Ministry staff on Bahrain Diplomacy Day highlighting the role played by the Ministry of Education in promoting the educational system and enhancing learning standards. He underlined the Ministry's resolve to embed the concepts of human rights in school curricula, highlighting the role of diplomatic missions in serving Bahraini students abroad. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs held a panel discussion titled Excellence in Consular Services as part of the Diplomatic Forum 2023. The Virtual Consular Project was presented, which aims to provide high-quality consular services that cover geographical spaces for more beneficiaries with higher efficiency, that redirects resources to build new bridges and develop commercial, economic, cultural and scientific relations between Bahrain and countries of the world, in line with implementing the digitalisation plan for consular services to support the Digital Transformation March. A number of developmental initiatives that have been launched were also presented, which aim to provide consular services to citizens and subscribers, such as traffic e-ticket issuance project, passport replacement service, good conduct certificate issuance and other e-services. The heads of diplomatic missions and consulars abroad praised the virtual consular project and the ministry's new developmental initiatives. CEO of Tam Keen at Masha Mafiz participated in the Diplomatic Forum 2023 in the presence of Tam Keen Chief Growth Officer Kusai Alaradi. Mafiz delivered a presentation on Tam Keen's establishment in 2006 with the aim of developing private sector institutions, supporting Bahraini individuals to be the first choice in employment and increasing the integration of Bahraini women into the labour market to create quality job opportunities for Bahrainis raise the efficiency and productivity of Bahraini individuals and institutions. She indicated that Tim Keen's work methodology is concerned with working with Bahraini institutions committed to building their capacity for digitalisation, increasing productivity, international expansion, innovation, growth and transformation and supporting Bahraini individuals who are committed to refining and developing their skills. She also reviewed Tim Keen's strategic courses and their economic contributions in training and employment financing, partnerships, enterprise support, business continuity and unemployment insurance. The CEO of the Information E-Government Authority, Mohammed Al-Qaed, held a press conference on the achievements of the e-transformation sector in 2022 and the upcoming action plan. Al-Qaed affirmed that the authority launched a package of initiatives and implemented many national projects in the field of e-transformation in a manner that supports the government programme and enhances the strategic initiatives of communications, information technology and digital economy sectors. He added that as a result of the continuous directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the authority continued to implement e-transformation plans by continuously developing the government service system, in addition to providing various e-channels that enhance the electronic provision of government services to citizens and residents. 
Al-Qaeda stated that the authority was able to launch over 50 new e-services and completed around 3.7 million e-transactions. The CEO of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, BCCI, Dr. Abdullah al Sada, participated in the diplomatic forum. He affirmed BCCI's keenness to support Bahrain's missions and consulates abroad, hailing the efforts of the missions in promoting Bahrain economically and the facilities it provides to attract investments. He delivered a presentation on the establishment of the BCCI in 1939, noting that it is one of the oldest chambers in the Arab region which kept abreast of economic and social developments and made efforts to stimulate the private sector's growth and enable its role in the kingdom's economic development. He also reviewed the services provided by BCCI and its role in representing the private sector in the kingdom and abroad, the importance of its membership in international forums and its role during the pandemic. Chief Executive of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, the LMRA, Nuf Abdurrahman Jamshir, reviewed the Regional Director of the International Organisation for Migration, the IOM, for North Africa and the Middle East, Osman Balbisi. The meeting discussed ways to strengthen relations between LMRA and IOM, exchange expertise to improve the work environment, preserve the rights of work parties, and develop the role of the Regional Centre of Excellence for capacity building of combating trafficking in persons. LMRA CEO highlighted the efforts undertaken by LMRA in providing and preserving a safe work environment for employees and employers and its commitment to enhance efforts in combating human trafficking and protecting workers from all forms of exploitation. She affirmed the role of the IOM in supporting Bahrain's efforts in improving the work environment and building capacities in the field of trafficking in persons. The Kingdom of Bahrain has ranked 10th globally as the safest country with the lowest in crime rate, according to the annual index of the global database Numbeo for security and safety. Bahrain surpassed most European and Scandinavian countries in this international classification. It stated that Bahrain scored 76 points globally in the level of safety and 24 in the rate of crime prevalence, as these results reflect the efforts of the Ministry of Interior in cooperation with the concerned authorities in maintaining security, public order, protecting lives and property, and preventing and combating crimes. <coughs>